April the 21st, 2020. Guys, today and tonight, uh, we're going to be traveling through the debris trail of Comet Thatcher, and that's what you're seeing here. It's called the Leard Meteor Shower, and we're talking about maybe 15 uh, meteors per hour. And uh, it's going to be interesting to watch if you've got clear skies, and I think a lot of the country will tonight. We're kind of in between storms. But as we move this up, you can see the sun is in the center. Venus, Mercury, the Earth in the, is uh, represented by this blue orbit. And you can see how the Earth intersects this debris field. Let's uh, take a little closer look at some of the information of where to look for this tonight. But tonight, again, uh, this is, they're saying look up before sunrise on April 22nd. And usually that early morning time is some of the best um, viewing because if you've had a moon, it has started to set. And again, if you've got good clear weather, this could be very interesting. And they're going to be appearing to come straight down can see that you've got Hercules in the top left, that constellation, Cygnus, Lyra, and Vega is that big star in Lyra, and that's where it actually gets its name. The Lyrids appear to come from that area, but uh, they really are not. That's just how they name them. But 15 an hour could be very interesting, guys, and if you go through thicker, thicker sections of the debris trail, then you will see more. It depends on your location. But we've talked about this coming up um, a couple of times this year so far. If you go back, um, I did a video called The Earth is Will Be Moving Through the Debris Trail of Comet Thatcher. And it's, that's interesting. That's how these debris trails uh, develop. That's how they form. And we're seeing that with Atlas now as it, it prepares to die between Mercury and the Sun coming up at the end of the, uh, in late May. And uh, I mentioned that what you're seeing with Atlas was something that future generations will call possibly the Atlas meteor shower. Who knows, okay? And they're talking about this on Space Weather also. Um, Comet Thatcher, which is called C1861G1, it says northern sky watchers could see, again, as many as 15 meteors per hour during the dark hours before sunrise on April the 22nd. And it's the northern sky watchers. In other words, you're going to look to the north, you're going to look very high into the sky find those constellations we were talking about and check out that area but uh, kind of keep an eye on a little wider than just pinpointing sometimes that peripheral vision will help you see a lot more and you you folks that are on boats and have clear uh, views of the skies it seems that that is usually the best place to watch this unless you're on a mountaintop or somewhere like bell rock and sedona but guys, this is going to be interesting uh, to watch. We got this. We got Comet Atlas coming up. A couple other meteor showers. There's actually three comets now. You got Atlas one and one other comet that they're watching. None are Earthbound or anything like that. Um, Atlas appears to be the most interesting because we see it splitting apart. We'll get an update on that uh, possibly this evening. But if you guys get any pictures, uh, comment there and send them in. Let's take a look at them. Uh, it's always interesting to me. I love this kind of stuff. And one other quick uh, statement is the fact that now major um, players in social media, and you know the ones I'm talking about, are about to remove just about anything that doesn't go along with the World Health Organization. And that kind of tells you the story itself. But for all you YouTubers... Check it out. They um, are now about to really kind of sweep through and remove a lot of stuff. Just a heads up, guys. Be safe.